You may take Captain Solo to Jabba the Hutt after I have Skywalker. He's no good to me, dead. He will not be permanently damaged. Greetings, most gracious audience. I am Sir Persevere, Knight of the Hand-Drawn Realm. It pains me to confide in you that I had the uncanny feeling that another notable person would pass away during the production of my Batman Hush review series. Alas, another Star Wars actor has passed on to the netherworld of the Force. Ironically, in short order, the original actors of my two favorite Star Wars characters have met their end. Of course, Darth Vader is my favorite Star Wars character, and I already made a video in honor of Dave Prowse. My second favorite Star Wars character is Boba Fett. Sadly, Jeremy Bullock, the man who wore the iconic suit of the best bounty hunter in that galaxy far, far away, passed away on Thursday, December 17th, in the year of our Lord 2020. Apparently, Mr. Bullock was 75 years old at the time of his death. Regardless of your feelings for Boba Fett, for I realize that there are a lot of Star Wars fans who think that he was overhyped, Everyone should take time to appreciate his role in the overall story of the Galactic Conflict. Given my own character ranking of Boba Fett, I have always been a fan of the Bounty Hunter. I always knew that Boba blasted his way out of the Sarlacc Pit even before Disney came out with the Randalorian show to confirm it. Furthermore, I do not care what Dave Filoni, Jon Favreau, and Disney have to say. In the Star Wars canon that I acknowledge, Boba Fett is the original Mandalorian. Without his creation in George Lucas's Star Wars, there would be no inspiration behind Mandalore in the first place. So, next time you wish to say, Boba Fett is not a Mandalorian, just keep that in mind. Deep down, we all know the truth. Boba Fett is not just a Mandalorian, he's not even a non-Mandalorian. He is THE Mandalorian, and really the only one who matters alongside his father, Jango Fett. But enough of that. The time has come to celebrate the life of Jeremy Bullock, the original actor of Boba Fett. Much like Dave Prowse, Jeremy was not as well recognized for the role he played because his face was under the helmet of Boba Fett. And yet, Boba Fett was hardly his only role. He actually played other characters in Star Wars, including Lieutenant Shekel. Yep, he played this hapless lieutenant who was overpowered and disarmed by the Cloud City security forces. Mr. Bullock also played Captain Jeremoc Colton in Revenge of the Sith. As you can see in this image, Jeremoc Colton was one of the pilots of Bail Organa's ship when Obi-Wan and Yoda decided to go back to the Jedi Temple to send out the warning signal to all surviving Jedi. It is truly wonderful to see these Easter eggs and have a renewed sense of appreciation for Star Wars before Mickey Mouse grew way too big for his little red britches. In addition to Star Wars, Mr. Bullock appears in James Bond and Doctor Who, among many other properties. Of course, in this day and age where divorces are sadly quite rampant in Hollywood, I am quite happy to congratulate Mr. Bullock on having a long and happy marriage to Mrs. Maureen Bullock and their three sons and ten grandchildren they had together. A successful private family life is one of the most important things a man can hope to achieve. Mr. Bullock? Thank you for bringing the role of Boba Fett to life for the very first time. Star Wars would not have been the same without you, and I love the character you played. Maybe someday more fans will have the same appreciation for Boba Fett as I do. May the Force be with you. I hope you enjoyed this tribute of Jeremy Bullock. Perhaps you will consider leaving a nice word for him in the comments section below. I would love to discuss our favorite moments surrounding the life of the actor of Boba Fett. Now, my friends, go forth, be gracious to everyone, and may God bless you. Put Captain Solo in the cargo hold.